Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jeff Herndon. And I'm Julia Thatcher. Fires are igniting across the state, burning grass and farmers' fields. Yeah, right now, large grass fire uh, is burning north of K96 at 215th Street. That's near Mount Hope. Central County Fire Marshal says only fields are in its path, no buildings. A farmer is using a, a tractor and a disc to try to cut off the fire before it gets to the Arkansas River. Fire Marshal also asking everyone to avoid that area. And we're going to bring in Chief Meteorologist Lisa Teachman with what's causing the heightened fire danger and how long we need to be on alert. We have some strong winds that are being channeled right across Kansas. We have one system departing to the east and another one coming in from the west. The stronger winds are going to be channeled right between both of those systems. As dry as conditions are, you take the humidity, it drops in the afternoon. With all that dry vegetation, the warm temperatures and these gusty winds, that's what you need for these fires to form. And this is the one that you were talking about along K96, just to the east of the Mount Hope area and to the northeast of Andale. We have multiple smoke plumes that are also coming out of Oklahoma because of additional fires and another wildfire in northwestern Osborne County. You can see that smoke plume as it also extends across Smith County. We have multiple counties under fire weather warnings for this evening through 7 p.m. But even though a good chunk of Kansas not under a fire weather warning, we all need to make sure that we are not the spark that starts any of these fires. But tomorrow we have a chance for thunderstorms. Severe weather is possible near and to the east of the I-135 corridor. We'll break down our threats for damaging winds, large hail and tornadoes when I return in your full Storm Track 3 forecast. Back over to you. Lisa, thank you. Firefighters from several counties are finishing up on a fire in Butler County. It burned a large area east of Douglas, which is about 20 miles south of Augusta. Case and Zena Taher has been on the scene all afternoon. She joins us live. Zena, what's the latest? Jeff, Julia, this fire started around 1 p.m. And from what we're hearing, it moved fast. I do want to acknowledge the conditions out here. It's really windy. It's really dry. We've been getting a lot of dirt and ash kicked up into our faces. But I want to direct your attention over here. There's a few telephone poles that were charred by this fire. You can see one of them is semi collapsed. The other one is still smoking. And if you come over here, you can see another one of those patches that's still smoking. We've been keeping an eye on this one. There's some fire and smoke coming up from it. And when the wind kicks up, you can see how that fire starts to kick up again. Firefighters are keeping an eye on things over here. We did speak to an employee at a nearby business who says he was surprised by the fire's strength. In Mechanic Don Larson says this is the first big fire he's seen in this area. He says the most recent one was a house fire, but there wasn't nearly this big of a response. Now, since we've gotten here, this fire has calmed down quite a bit. You can see those winds are still kicking up. Here for you, Zena Taher, KSN News 3.